Hello, happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to the Sunday Sketch. The uh, I'm gonna just draw some stuff. Um, now the I was gonna draw um, something for E3, but I'm not really sure what to draw in that case. You know, it's like whatever. But the Incredibles Two is coming out next weekend, so uh, I'm gonna draw the Incredibles. So let's take our reference image, bring that in. So the interesting thing about some of the characters are, are just the proportions. Like if you see like, um, Violet is is just a little crazy skinny and like Dash has a giant head compared to his body, but then his dad his dad has kind of a normal looking head. So it's it's just they're kind of all over the place, uh, depending on the character. But of course we gotta give some love to Elastigirl since she seems to be one of the major key points. Of course, I could draw Jack-Jack first. What do you think? Elastigirl or Jack-Jack? Uh, Jack-Jack. Jack-Jack? Okay, we're gonna do some Jack-Jack today, and maybe we'll do an Elastigirl next time. So we're gonna do some Jack-Jack today. We know he can light himself on fire as one of his powers. Apparently he can turn invisible as well. He's a, he's a crazy baby. So here we go. Let's take our rough pencil. Hmm? Babies are cute. So he's got a giant head. Like a little body. Like that. And then we've got a little neck. I like to do kind of ovally iris or uh, pupils. Do, do, do. And then the interesting part is they've all got these masks. So I could draw like eyebrows in there, but basically the brow line for many of them is the same as their mask line, the top of their mask. And then Jack-Jack has a little round nose. Uh, and he's got his little happy baby cheeks. He's got kind of a big round head like that. He's actually got really weird ears, I feel like.
and then he's got his pointy hair as well. And his teeth haven't come in yet. And of course he's in his little Edna mode onesie. He's got his chubby little baby hands. Something like that, probably. So something like that. Now we get to get in there, get some color going on. Well, first let's try uh, let's try setting the tone for this first. So we're gonna go just like a red. Like a nice dark red. And then we're going to do like a bright yellow white right in there. Uh, let's change that. Eh, no, that's fine. No, we need to bring the brush strength down. There we go, that's better. Mm, still not the color I want. Let's try going for something a little bolder. Still not quite right. What am I missing? I should put hardness down. Give him a little halo detail going on. Uh, 
Yeah, that looks a bit better. Okay. Now we can start getting into the details. New layer. Stay a while and listen. So stay a while in the giant cone. That puts everyone in like a little hit for like a like a second. It's but if they get hit, it counts down. Because um, everyone is mm. more data with the big giant um, A X plus X is on the back. Give him some cute baby cheeks. I think he's gonna need some shadows too. Something more uh, blue. Well, I yeah, I thought uh, the cube that we just talked about there is is kind of like that as well. I think that's a little too blue. That looks green, that's weird. Yeah, let's not make it green. Hmm. Could be a little different than that, even.
That's a little better. Okay, now let's get the mask on. This mask needs to be actually pretty solid. So I'm going to increase the hardness. Keep the brush density down though. And we're actually going to fill in the entire thing and do the eyes over the top of it is what we're going to do. There we go. And we're going to turn the hardness down a bit. And do a little bit of detail. There we go. Now let's put in some eyes, shall we? Hmm. I'm going to start off with a sort of pink base color. Because after all, your eyes are in a thing. I'm going to turn the hardness back down. Actually, probably need the hardness up because of the mask. And then turn it back down when I add the whites.
right. Really, with the E3 going on, I feel like I should be keeping tabs on all of that stuff. But Sunday sketch has been kind of infrequent, and I'm like, I need to do. Yeah, I gotta catch up on my drawings. Things have been a little crazy with the finals and stuff too. So just catching up on my drawings and paintings and stuff. Now we're actually going to bring most of the pink out by the time this gets finished. Really just want it on the edges, on the very, very edges. I'm going to try and push most of that pink out. And basically, it'll look like that. And we're going to do the same thing down here on this eye. Ends up looking like that. That's pretty. That looks pretty good. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to add some... Uh, a little bit of white on the face too, just with my uh, with my soft brush again. Just to do a little bit of highlighting. There we go, like that. Uh, next up, I think I'm gonna actually put the pupils in the eyes. And Jack Jack's eye color is, looks like blue. Looks blue to me, so let's go ahead and throw blue eyes in there. I'm gonna increase the hardness again, because I need to get the uh, that nice blue color on there. Oh, his eyes look too pink now. Can compare compared to the the blue. Got to whiten up his eyes some more. Maybe maybe I'll uh, increase the hardness. Yeah. We don't want him to look like he's on weed or whatever. Didn't push out enough of that pink before. Yeah, 
There we go. Now let's try the blue. That looks more like an Incredibles eye. And then we gotta get something a little bit lighter, like up in the that range, and then this one I'm gonna bring it back the soft one. Because I'm just gonna basically put a uh, little bit of a highlight in the eye. Directly, and then we need to put a little bit of the bring in that shadow there. There we go, and then we're gonna take sort of a dark blue, turn bump up the hardness just a little bit. This is just to give a little bit more depth to that eye. Bringing in kind of that darker color. See? That's looking pretty good. Just, just a little bit. Just a tish. Okay, now what I want to do is I actually want to bring in a pretty high hardness and do like actual highlights. Which I guess is gonna look like that. Well, let's see how these eyes are lit. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So they just do a little bit there and then most of the body here. And then I'm going to bring it back in on the suit here a little bit, too. There we go. We're getting there. Okay, we're gonna go dark red again, and this is gonna be hard brush again because I need to get that mouth shape done. Cause he's got a happy baby smile. And then because he doesn't have all his teeth in yet, I'm actually going to just take this light pink color. And then this is going to be soft brush. And we're actually just going to put 
his his gums and tongue in there. Because he's still got a cute, precious baby smile. Okay, and then let's get back to throwing some shadows in here. Don't like how that went. Let's try that again. Starting to look a bit like Jack Jack, folks. Jack Jack's head is wider, it looks like. Or his face is smaller. His face is narrower. Eh. That's okay. Gonna grab some red. Gonna throw some of that pink on there. Because he's just got the bubble cheeks. Oh, that's why it's so weird. Dang it. Forgot about my layers again. Because I put that on my highlight layer. Yep. Yep, that's what that is. Okay. Yes, that's blending much better.
Gotta put a little bit of pink to the ears and stuff, because that's just kind of how it goes. Ears and nose and all that. Okay, now let's try the mouth again. Oh, leg cramp. Oh, leg cramp. Ooh. Sorry about that. Oh, that's white. And we're going to turn the hardness up for this one. And then we're going to take that bright pink and our soft brush again, and we're just going to come in here. He's got kind of a monkey face. Which is kind of interesting. Which I think has to do with the way his nose and nostrils come in. Mm-hmm. 
What if I did the dark red instead of a blue? Doesn't really go with color theory, I think, but as as well. Because I think technically you're supposed to use a like complementary color or whatever. Conventional wisdom says, you know. Hmm. It's pretty decent. Now let's see if there's something we can do about that head shape. I think there might be, but it's really going to be cutting it close. Because I can bring, whoop, that's hardness is too high. Because I can bring the head shape out some more. And really, it is already out pretty significantly. You know what I think is going to do it a better do a better job of it is um, the background. Because I think if I just take this, figure out where his head is, and build in like a highlight. Yeah, some some backlighting, if you will. Of course, then I'll also have to move up the um, the hair. Hmm. 
which totally is something I can do, but you know. Or maybe I leave the hair there. Something like that, and then Try and blend that a little bit. That works a bit better. I think it's because I made the um, background color too similar to his skin tone when I when I toned the canvas. Um, so I gotta try and bring something else in. Let's try um let's try doing like a sky color or something like that.
something like that. Yeah, that, that I think works a lot better. I mean, gives you a better idea of the head shape. I'm still figuring toning the canvas out. I've had some decent results, like, uh, hmm, what was a good one? I think um, last month's uh, Patreon was pretty good, and I toned the canvas on that one. But, uh, it is a technique I am still working on for sure. I'll let you know when I master it. Okay, well, that is just about my time for now. Hope you enjoyed. Um, Incredibles 2 is going to be in theaters uh, next weekend, I think. Uh, I'm planning on seeing it. Let me know in the comments if you're planning on seeing it. Uh, and I will see you. We'll probably, I'll probably be doing some E3-related stuff uh, this week coming up here. Um, but until then... Thank you for joining me, and I will see you later. Goodbye, friends.